Hey there Joseph, or whoever's listening to this video. This is a little bit about me before it starts properly, a little bit of an introduction. My season high this season is 3,218, peaking mid diamond. I'm currently 3,156 after a couple of bad games. My most played Zenyatta, Lucio, and then I have four people played pretty similarly. I prefer to play the healers rather than the tanks. My win percentages are here, quite high on Moira. And Zen, not bad for the hours played. In season 1, I had the low rank of 40, I've been playing since season 1, but I've taken a few breaks. This is when I was on my laptop, so I mainly played Lucio, and my laptop only got like 20 frames, but it's all good. Season 2, I hit gold, same reason, still on my laptop. Season 3, I played one game, I think, or something. Season 4, I upgraded my computer, started playing Roadhog, and Roadhog 1.0 was a thing, which sucks. Finally hit Diamond. Season 5, took a break again. Season 6, took a break, played a couple of games here and there. Season 7, I had Diamond again, mainly playing Mercy in the Mercy meta, peaking 3.2k. Season 8, pretty alright, Diamond again. Again, mostly played Mercy. And here we are. So, in this video, I'm playing Zenyatta. Usually at the start of the game, I like to check what rank my teams are and who they play. See what's accommodated. Looks like we have a Mercy main, and usually I like to play Zenyatta when we're playing with a Mercy. Because he allows us to have some extra extra damage output, because Mercy can't output much by herself. Then... Through, let's go through this. Starting phase, our team looks good. 2-2-2 two, two, two at the moment. Widow's pretty good on this map, on attack. We all opt to push right side. It's looking pretty good. Heal up our hog from the Moira orb damage. Now I notice they have, I notice I would have got a huge pick here, but they also have a Torbjorn. Unfortunately I get stuck in the room here, so I kind of just have to sit behind this wall while I wait for the Torb turret to be destroyed. Try and help out a hog on the left side while I wait. The widow manages to pick it, so I can move to the left without taking too much damage and getting picked off. Now I just try and play a shield break for a bit here. Healing up the team. I hear a call from the soldiers behind on our mercy. So I try and pick him, a bit of potato aim, it's my first game on, so I missed a few shots in this video. Let's try and keep my team on a relatively high health total, or we can push in. We have a lot of picks up, I would have done pretty good. So we can just capitalise on that. Nice hit shot on the Orissa. Hog actually ults, so I try and hide behind the wall, I wait. I get a nice volley on him to kill him. Blutio tries to contest, but he's just staggering himself at this point. We've basically got this point. We push up, try and get, see if we can get some early picks, so we can get a straight rush onto the next point. Leaving two on the payload, our hog gets a nice hook here. And as soon as we take the point, we can rush on if we're ready. I'm 93 on trans as well, so that'll be pretty good. Ready to counter the soldier visor if needed. We're just pushing some damage here, and we know they're one down, so we can just play a little bit aggressive, pushing through the choke. More a kind of ways to call since there doesn't get much value out of it. Just putting damage... Results down as well, and we just touch the point and they have to come to us. Not much here, Torbjorn and Molten Cores, huge shatter. Kind of an early ult by Zen on me there, probably didn't use it so early, but I just use it. And we managed to clean up the kills, our Widow's gone pretty huge here. I noticed the Torb turret there, so I just take it out, just try behind the wall. Yep. Pretty standard stuff, my team's doing a great job this time. Yeah, missing a couple of shots on the armor there that I probably should have hit by now. Not too concerned. Unfortunately, I didn't notice the soldier. That was my bad. He's probably on there for a little while. I should have turned around and contested him. Doesn't really matter. We're in a pretty good position for now. I actually switched to Lucio here because I realized I won't probably won't be able to touch the pointers in, just so I can have a little bit of presence. Fail a bit of wall hops there, but we're good. Try and boot Torby enough so we can cap the point quickly, but someone else is on. Try and heal up our mercy. Let's be boost. Mr. Bob there is a pretty poor effort by me. We actually get in and tied, and they start spawning. And then the hog out, and we're looking in a pretty bad position, so we're just going to hit the reset here by the look of it. I 
switch factors in. I only had 40% on the trans, I believe. Let's go check on that. Yeah, 39% before the switch, so I wasn't missing out too much by switching to Lucio. I'll try and heal off our Mercy and make sure she doesn't die before the pick. Before the push, so we can keep going. Soldier's on the left, trying to get some poke damage. I managed to get a headshot and zone him off for a bit. Could have just taken down that Dog Tower. We're a pickup. Diva tries to dive me, but McCree gets a huge bomb on here, allowing me to stay alive for a bit. Helping me out. I try and play it up here, just so they have a harder time contesting me while our team's on the point. And it's a pretty easy capture. For, uh, yeah, McCree gets a huge ultimate three kills over there. Good job on him. And then we move over to defense now. I still felt pretty comfortable on the Zen after that. Still good pairing with the Mercy as long as our team comp stays pretty similar. And by the look of it here. Get a shield tank, chunk rats down in the corridor. Roadhog to add some extra damage. Pretty good. Skip through this walk into this form part. Usually on this point, I like to hold to the right here where I am. I can hide behind walls or go to the room with the health pack to my right and for cover. Just gives me a little bit of safety there. A soldier gets a huge pick on the uh, their soldier. Just makes them take longer for them to push in. Or they risk getting staggered. Ryan's still pretty determined though. Missing a few shots here and there. Not very good. Just trying to apply some pressure. Ryan actually lands a huge pin there. Managed to get a nice headshot on them though. Try and pick down that Zarya. You like to keep my discords on the tanks. I noticed that there's a Torbjorn set up there. I hear a great call from a Mercy that soldier's behind again, which allows us to finish him. I know the Torbjorn's there, so I just try and deal some damage onto the turret. Hog oh, is the same idea as me, and we managed to get that done. Now, I have the thought in the back of my mind that Torbjorn might set up there, so I'm kind of just ready for that eventually. But as I said, I like to play on this right side, gives me heaps of cover, there's a health pack, it's quite hard for them to dive on me, and they don't really have any dive tanks to do it anyway, so I'm in a pretty safe, safe range here. And Zen has no fall off damage anyway. Pretty standard stuff here, Junkrat's just spamming, getting down that Ryan shield, huge ult coming in from him. Unfortunately McCree gets to pick, I'm playing a little bit aggressive here, because I know I have trans, so I kind of wanted to, to group up with our team here. I managed to block the huge shadow, which is great. Nana unfortunately makes me have too much damage resistance, so it takes a while to kill him. Which is a bit unfortunate for our Reinhardt here. A few picks down, but it's definitely still winnable. I hold my trans because I notice they have Zaya, and I really don't want to pop my trans before grab. Unfortunately, though, I hear the soldier ult coming from behind, so I have no choice to use her, otherwise we'd get wiped. It means we just have to play a little bit spread out now because of that Zaya grab. It's still a big threat here. Now, I also see they have a Widow now, so that means I definitely have to play either behind the wall or the Reinhardt shield. As soon as I get into her line of sight, it's an easy kill for her. Just hiding behind the wall. So the Torb sets up in the same place again. I was semi-ready for that, so I just get it low. Well, now I can play behind the Ryan shield. The Widow's pr usually pretty easy kill for Zen if, if I'm behind cover and she's not in the open like that. Try and get some nice volleys. Taking a bit of damage from the soldier. See him on the Discord, so I try and land a nice right click, but unfortunately I miss my shots. Hog manages to clean up though. Good effort by him. McCree up top, that was actually my bad. I didn't even didn't realise that a McCree could pick me so easily. I could have died there. Which would have been completely my fault, but he missed the shot, so we're all good for now. And we got two huge picks here. McCree's down. Hog lands a good pick. Good on. And we're looking alright for now. They only have 40 seconds left. So if they die any more deaths here, they're going to get staggered. Which is why I kind of play aggressive to kill the soldier. Unfortunately, I just can't find the finishing blows on him. Get him a little bit low. Miss a couple of shots. So he gets away free. Now, I have trans for their last push, so I'm feeling pretty confident here. As I said, play up closer to our team now that I have trans. Land some nice damage onto Zarya there. She doesn't even get the chance to grab. She's too staggered to make the next push, so we can play super aggressive and push them. Hogs discorded in that room. Huge pulse by Tracer. Mm. Spamming now, main. McCree tries to contest. I actually trans early there. I was just afraid of dying. I really didn't want to risk dying. It wasn't a huge value trans, but kept me alive. 
made sure no one could die in that time frame. There's only two seconds left. They couldn't touch. And that was the first game. So, I played pretty well. My aim was pretty off. It was more positioning that I was focusing on that game. And I think it did pretty decent. So, thanks for